Hi guys, Mark Kwok here. Today I wanna to talk about something that's a little bit more near and dear to me and not an item per se, which is my normal go-to. And that is about side projects, side hustles, pr uh, creative outlets, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, I am all about that. If you know anything about me, and if you're one of my friends, you know that I have a bunch of creative outlets. I mean, obviously I have this YouTube channel, that's one thing. And a lot of people will ask me like, why do you do this stuff? Like, aren't you too busy? Like, what's the point? Especially if like some of it has no like commercial value. However, I'm all about the fact that you should do this. Engaging in something else, this is something that I truly, truly believe that you should try and do. The first reason I think that you should take up a passion project or some sort of creative outlet or something like that is because you get to learn a new skill. I think learning is incredibly important as part of the human experience. That's why education is such a big deal. That's because there is something inherently great about it internally, I think externally as a human race. I think there's a lot of things that come from learning skills. I think you should absolutely take up a project that enables you to learn a new skill. The second thing is about just becoming a more well-rounded human being. When you do something other than just your day job, you are now all of a sudden someone that isn't just tied down to one part of your identity. Like I think a lot of people, their identity is wrapped up in their job. Like that's who they are. If you're an eye banker, you are an eye banker. Like that's who you are. Truth is, it's not, that's just only a portion of what you do and who you are. Yes, you may spend 40, 50, 60 hours a week doing it, but that is just not everything about you. You may also be a fantastic father. You may also be a talented writer. You may also be an actor. I don't know, whatever it is, you can be those other things. The third reason I think you should take up some sort of hobby or side project is because honestly, it helps you grow as a human being. It helps you be challenged. Getting challenged, I think, is uncomfortable and it means that you may suck, you may fall, you may get embarrassed, you may look like a fool in front of everyone, but that's the trial by fire stuff that gets you to the other side to be better. And when you take up something new, you become a beginner all over again. And when you're a beginner, guess what? That ego part of you has to kind of die. You suck. You're not very good. You're like, there are other people that have like trained this skill and you're not one of them, right? Like that is a humbling experience, but that's the stuff that helps you grow. I'm starting to sound like a motivational speaker. I'm not one of those, but I'm, I'm dead serious about this. Like when you're challenged, man, you just become like more resilient. It's like the thicker skin thing happens, you know? And when you're just comfortable, you're not challenged, you're not uncomfortable, you just kind of like meld into this like soft, you know, Gudetama egg. Like you're just, that's like, you just do the same thing over again and there's nothing beyond it. You're just good at that one thing and like, end of story. Being challenged, being a newbie, getting humble. Like this is the stuff that, you know, diamonds are made of, right? And let's be a diamond. I think number four is that when you take up a side project, you become a more interesting human being. Don't you hate it when you go to some sort of party or something, it's like, hey, what do you do? And then like they talk about their job and like there's nothing beyond that in their life. When you learn a new skill, when you have a side project, when you're doing something a little different from what you normally do, you now all of a sudden have this other world that you're in too. This is what makes you more interesting to a bigger variety of people. Now, do you have to be interesting? No, but it makes life a lot more fun when you have something else to offer. You have other things to talk about, teach, etc. And lastly, number five, I think this one is probably, I don't think it always is the case, but I truly do believe that when you have a creative outlet, you have a side project or something like that, it can actually enhance your primary thing too. Let me explain. So when you have a job and you are in that job day in and day out, that's all you're thinking about. It's sometimes requires you to get out of that in order to come back to it with a refreshed sort of mind. When you're just like one track minded doing the same thing over and over again, you lose a lot of creativity, you lose a lot of like that brain power kind of working itself, and you just kind of resort to doing the same old, same old. Wouldn't it be nice if not only do you get the break to do something else, but you also can potentially take that and bring it back into what you just generally do, and that gets more enhanced. Okay, so those are five different things. This is yet again another kind of like talking head video, but I thought it'd be helpful for those who are maybe thinking about doing a passion project, creative outlet, something like that, and they just haven't taken that first step. Number one advice is to just take the first step because it's about momentum at that point, right? You let, you take that first step and then boom, you like keep going towards it. So if you're thinking about it, I just gave you all these reasons why it's awesome to have something on the side. 
If you agree with me, take that first step. Let's go. Let's get this done. All right. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I will see you guys on the next one.